Salam sejahtera Dr. Jarina. In this laboratory of Beton Tubin, I will begin my part with is the introduction. Of the objective in this laboratory is we need to determine the operating characteristic of a beton tubing at various speed. So the background is the hydraulic energy is that which may be possessed by a fuel. So the fuel mechanical is used to convert hydraulic energy into the mechanical energy or change back the mechanical energy into the hydraulic energy. So the tubing are used to produce the power by means of the converting the hydraulic energy into the mechanical energy. So for simple to get the understand we need to that we need to know that the pattern tubing is used to convert the hydraulic energy into the mechanical energy. So in this slide the tubing can be sub subdivided into the two group. So it, the group one is the impulse tubing and the group two is the reaction tubing. Petron tubing for the petron wheel is one of the we all know that of the water tubing. The petron wheel is an impulse tubing in which applicate the venous something known as the baguette and move amount to the circumference circumference of a rotating wheel. As seen is figure one. Uh, the force generated by the jet heat at the right angle to the bucket produce the torque which drove the wheel to rotate. So when the wheel is rotated, it will generating the power. This tubing is designed for the high heat and the low flow rate. So that is the name after the Lester Patron and America in the engineer. So we can so we can see clearly in the diagram the patron tubings is the patron view tubing installations and the configuration of the water flow in the baguette. So the structure is the curved spoon shaped baguette when it is rotating and so it will produce the top with drop the view of to rotate and generating the power. For the procedure, the first one is switch on the pump. Once the pressure coach reaches to bar, gradually open the controller valve. Make, make sure no bubble trap in the prison. Set the load with W1 and W2 to zero. Remove the belt brake from the pulley wheel. Next, use the tachometer to record the revolution per, min per minute. Not generally. Repeat reading as well as the pressure and W2 reading. Drop the ball into the turbine drop. Record the time starting from zero. Stop the wash when it reaches 5 liter. Remove the ball from the turbine drum. Then insert the ball into the pulley wheel by using the tensional screw set. The W1 for 100 gram after the reading, the RMP repeat the process for the next step. W1 should be the steady. Increase for C5 into the C measurement. Lastly, raise the ball and close the value controller until the reading is zero. Turn the pump off. That's all. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Luqman Hakim bin Luqman Metri number CF210001 After the performing the turbine pattern test by following the established procedure The following is the data has been obtained and recorded Namely rotation per minute Mass 1, mass 2 Time and the radius of the drum Volume also pressure is constant Based on the recorded data, we must get the value of mechanical power and water po power in unit watt. To get the final efficiency result in percent, the first table is calculation using a formula to get by example angular velocity value in unit radian per second equal to RPM 2020 multiplied by 2 pi divided by 
60 second equal to 211.53 and the rotation in unit newton meter equal to the force 0.196 newton multiplied by the radius of the drum 30 meter equal to 0.006 newton meter before obtaining the mechanical power value in unit what uh, equivalent with rotation 0.006 newton meter multiplied by angular velocity 186.72 equal to 1.120 watt the second table is the calculation using the formula to get example the flow rate in cubic meter per second is equal to the volume 0.005 meter cubic divided by the time 19 0.08 second equal to 2.62 meter cubic per second after that get the value of water power in what is equal to the water density multiplied by gravity 1000 multiplied by pressure head 2.0 multiplied by flow rates 2.62 equal to 5.14 watt to get a final result, the efficiency value is equal to the mechanical power 1.120 in unit watt divided by the water power 5.14 in unit watt equal to 21.79%. From the data and translation in the form of graph map, it appears that Filter turbine efficiency increase with increasing angular velocity as shown in graph 3. Additional flow rates appear to increase uh, with angular velocity as illustrated in graph 2. This relationship is typical for filter turbine where efficiency and flow rates are affected with turbine rotation speed. Okay, so we move to the, the discussions. The data acquired indicates that when a load is applied, the turbine's rotational speed will decrease and its power production will increase. This happens when an angle applied force causes rotational motions. Torque and output power are produced by the frictions between the rope and the wheel. The results and of the experiments could be impacted by a number of potential flaws, especially with regard to how long the water discharge lasts. Errors in reading the meter can lead the mistake in recording time, which highlight how crucial it is to place your eyes perpendicular, perpendicular for correct readings. Inaccuracies could also arise if the timer is not set to run co concurrently with the water level dropping to the zero. As the precautions, all students all students must follow the instructions, learn how to use the tools properly, and appreciate the step involved in the experiments. Any improper handling of this experiment could lead to inaccurate data collections. As conclusion, the experiment successfully maximized turbine power generated by emphasizing the significance of flow rate, analyzing of variables like power, efficiency, flow rate and velocity reveal crucial relationship influencing energy output. Varied aperture experiment provide insight into the Pelton turbine operational performance. This finding contributes significantly to understanding the interplay of key parameters empowering researchers to make informed decisions in turbine design and maintenance for optimal energy production.